Hey guys, from Master Shane D here with the one and only Chef Dylan Light, and we are doing not Krabby Patties. If we flatten them enough, they could be. We're doing crab cakes. We're doing some awesome crab cakes. So yep. these are fantastic for tailgates, yep. at home, appetizers, holidays. And listen, you, already at home, you're going tailgates. How are they going to cook these crabby patties or these crab cakes on a tailgate? We got a surprise for you. We're going to cook them right here. Right, right on here. the table. On the table. So stay tuned for that. So let's talk about how Deep South changes the game when we do crab cakes is normally we got so hot normally, sauce and all normally i'm things. using this hot sauce in there right. but today we're using deep south smoke and fire and it brings the fire so we don't we don't need this yeah it's there's going. no false advertisement in smoke and fire it brings the heat it brings the smoke it's got a beautiful depth of flavor and then it comes along and kung fu kicks you in the side of the head with some heat which is awesome it's a reason to drink more beer or tailgate party drinks. It's a perfect tailgate sauce, right? Yes. All right, so we're keeping our crab cakes like down the middle, right? These are super simple because we want to show off the crab. So like... Right. That's a big look. Yeah, this is called one. Colossal Crab for a reason. Yeah. And that's where we're starting with, okay? That's a lot of crab. Yeah, so, and, 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 and these big pieces, you know, so... Yeah, baby. This isn't going to be one of those three ninety nine crab cakes. No, no, you're this, not sure what it was. This is the eighteen ninety nine crab cake. Yeah, this platter. is the one that you get, and you're like, oh yeah, that's crab there. All right. So I'm going to add some stuff along the way. Uh, I, I like a little. So you're going to be our ninja pepper. with the knife over yeah, here, yeah. and I'm going to just open packages. So right. Shane's going to chop some of these peppers and onions and stuff, and while he's doing that, he put that one pound can of crab cloth crab meat in there. And I'm playing poker here. We're doing eight, nine, ten crackers approximately. We're just going to crunch them up and drop them in here. And that's going to help us bind that crab meat together because it's so big. We're going to hit it with a little bit of smoked paprika. Always use the smoked stuff, right? Always use the smoked stuff. The other stuff isn't worth having. Salt, pepper, garlic, just a little bit of sugar in here. We're just going to bring out that natural crab flavor. We don't want to overpower it. Two eggs. Two eggs. And then a little Worcestershire sauce. A little goes a long way, and we got a long way to go. And a short time to get there? The road goes on forever and the party never ends. Oh, we can do this all day. So now, it's just this simple. I like it. I like, I like that this is truly a crab cake. Because I'll be honest, you go to some restaurants and you get a cake that has crab, right? It's so much filler. There's so much breadcrumb and all that other stuff in there. And don't worry, it has its place. It's a different style crab cake. But it's this is cheap. crab. <laughs> but this is crab that it happens to be held together with a binder. And it's it's not about the cake. Right. So we're not messing around with this. Okay. We're gonna ball it up. All right. So what while you're making those, obviously people are home are thinking, wait a minute, you forgot the sauce. No, no, no. We got a surprise for the sauce. Right? Yes. So what goes better with a crab cake than a beautiful aioli or some sort of cream sauce on, on top, right? That's yeah. where the smoke and fire well, comes in. And a lot of times people cheap out and they do the cocktail sauce. They do, and yeah, come on. They take a little blackberries or some raspberries ah. and that's their sauce. But we're going to take deep south, smoke and fire, a little bit of Miracle Whip. I thought you said you were making like small relic. croquettes. It's all relative. You got big hands? <laughs> So yeah, we're just gonna bunch these up because we want to get the extra liquid out. Yep. So you're giving them a good squeeze. Yeah, just get them. You know, we don't want to overwork it. Right. Because the great thing about this colossal crab is it's got big chunks. Right. And you want to taste that, right? If if you're making a crab cake, you want to taste. Well, you want that crab. nice flaky texture. Yeah. So, you know, if we overwork this, it's just gonna be like stringy right. yeah. and fine. I don't love crab, but what I do love about crab is when you bite into it, it's like this sweet, uh, briny ocean at the same time. You know, crab cakes sweet. are like the cookie of the ocean. I can go with that. I'm just, they are, you know, like you can't have just one. Oh, uh, that's true. And All then right. basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these sit for a little bit. Why? We want those crushed up crackers and that egg right. and all that to develop. Right. We want that little bit of gluten got it got to get that got to get the glue right in the mm -hmm. gluten so we're gonna let those set and we'll be right back we're gonna reset and we're gonna show you how we're gonna do this at a tailgate let's do it 
Okay, so Dylan, you've kind of made this grill mildly famous, and I'm talking about just the M Grill C4, which is what this is, but this particular grill has been in auto accidents, it goes everywhere <laughs> with you, uh, it's been through war, but you can tell it's all stainless steel, and here we are today, still cooking. Yeah, so you can see very clearly, this is not the brand new out of the box demo model that you usually see in videos. This is literally the one that rides in the back of my truck every single day. Right. It rode in the back of the truck from Chicago all the way to the coast. Yep. Yeah. The portability of this is unmatched. Right. Like this is a hot lit grill. You see the right. smoke coming from it. What, what do you think the temp is right now in there? It's running at the grate, 650, 725. Right, and you're just chilling with it like it's nothing. Yeah, so we just picked it up and brought it down here, right. you know? So the handle stays cool because all the heat's in here. Yeah. So we're literally just gonna unlock this open it up bang and the great thing about it is it comes wow. with these grill grates and we've got yeah. them turned upside down so they're basically a charcoal fired plancha yep this is a flat top with flavor flat top with flavor we should that's we right should totally, we should patent that right we should patent that all right so what we're going to do here is we're just going to take these big crab cakes that have been resting we're going to give them a little pat down okay just not a, a little, TSA pat-down. Not pat a down. TSA pat-down. This is like old school TSA yeah. pat-down. Like, <laughs> you sure you ain't got nothing? This okay, is a pre-check. TSA pre-check. There you go. Yeah. And we're just going to set that Ooh, thing on there. Is... Listen to that sizzle. Yeah. That's not a sizzle. That's actually applause. That's right. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. So while I'm cooking these, Shane. Yeah, yeah. Now I, I got to do some work. I got to work. You got to work. Okay. You can't just stand and watch I know. me look I'm, pretty. I'm standing in awe of, I mean, it smells good. Holy cow. Okay. So what makes a crab cake better? Got to have some sort of dressing or aioli in my opinion. So that's exactly what we're going to do here today. So we're just going to do this a little bit, you know, just, just kind of by eye, right? Yeah. So you want a little bit of relish in it. What do you think? A little relish. We want some of that sweet and tang. I don't want to get the big chunks. I want the smaller chunks. Got to have some mayo. Well, least, Miracle Whip. We're yeah, going to use Miracle Whip. Whip yeah. Because we want a little more of that tang and that zip. So to that, you're going to eyeball it. Seriously, you need to play this. You got to learn to play by eye, by touch, by smell. So you're going to go in here. This sauce has a lot of pop to well, it. This is smoking fire. So this brings the heat. Brings it's rounded it. out with the smoke. While you're stirring that, I'm going to give it just a little pop of true gold because yeah. I like this mustard. So you're bringing some brightness to the table now. Well, they use the balsamic vinegar in this mustard, so it gives it a yeah. pop yeah. that most mustard sauces don't have that's going to be fantastic against this crab and this briny meat. They're not putting powders in here. They're actually using, you know, in this case, you know, the fresh onion. They're using, you know, habanero. It's, it's all fresh. It depends on what sauce. You know, they put the chunks in there. It's the real stuff. It's the real deal, man. It, 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 it's nothing fake. And that's why I think these Yeah, there's no food color show. number five in any of these. Right. <laughs> Yellow number five. <laughs> but, but I think that's why these sauces, over a lot of others, lend themselves to so many different things. You know, I'm not going to take your uh, $1.98 two for four special. Two for four special, weekend. right, and, and do this, right? I mean, these are beautiful lump crab cakes. You better bring some real flavor and some real sauce if you're going to top that. Right. You don't put ketchup on a dry aged steak, so. You just don't, man. You go get the good stuff. And if you do, you're not watching this video. And if you are, turn it off now. <laughs> I like the texture, man. Yeah, we're just setting them up. So these aren't going to be that hockey puck crab cake that you're used to. Not at all. They're going to be very flaky. So understand, you're right. You're not going to pick this up, right? This is a fork and these know, aren't, yeah, these aren't sliders. You're not right. putting these on King's Hawaiian rolls or anything. These are legitimate colossal crab cakes. Why you gotta hate on the King's Hawaiian rolls? Because I would eat that. On I know you Hawaiian would, but roll. I'm just saying. Hey, what did we use for the charcoal in here? Did, does that matter? Because this is short cook. So it's a short cook. So I always start with a nice briquette. And the great thing about it is right now they've got some awesome briquette products out there. Yeah. They have some lump briquette, uh -huh. so you don't have all the filler in there. So I started the base with that, and we just put two chunks of cherry. Okay. So that's why you see the smoke coming up. Yeah. I can smell it. I mean. It's and the great thing is the holes in this, that's hitting those crab cakes. Yep. You know, so we're getting that nice traditional flat top sear. Right. 
but we're getting all that grill so, right, charcoal so flavor. So normally if you do the, the Grill Greg's product, you, know, you got the, the lines, but this is a, a flaky crab cake. It's just going to fall in between there. The, using this as a plancha, as you said, the, the what was the, the, the catchphrase? The flavor flat top. The flavor flat top makes a lot more sense here. All right, you ready to taste? Uh, dude, I'm ready. All right. Man, that's beautiful. We got one for the back of the bus here. All right, you'll throw. How about you garnish that up for us? Yeah. Oh, I love that. All right. Now I think we need a little color right on top. What do you think? Yeah, let's dress it up a little. Make it look pretty. Get a little green. What do you call it? Uh, you, you call it the stoplight colors, right? Stop little green, light. little yellow, little red. So imagine being with the guys two doors down and eating hot dogs and we pull this out. Like, this they're hating how, This is how tailgate fights start, man. That's right. <laughs> they're all over food. Actually, this is how tailgate fights are won. Oh, that's true. That's true. So that's basically it, guys. So I think we can agree the sauce is the star. Yeah, I mean, the crab cakes are fine, but they wouldn't be what they are without that smoke and fire sauce over the top of them. That sets it off. That's yeah. what's driving this party bus. I agree. So I'm going to go get Bruce, and I want him to taste it. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so Bruce, we're all hovering around like a bunch of vultures, so there must be food on the table. Now, I got to say before we eat this, you guys came to us and said, we want some recipes. You didn't say we wanted anything in particular, and you allowed us to be, well, what we are. It's a little, a little anarchist, a little fun. Uh, but at the same time, it's always about bringing the flavor and being relatable. So we appreciate that. That makes it fun. Yeah, I really appreciate what you guys did. This was very unique. I didn't have anything like this in my head when we were talking. This is one of the most unique ways I've seen to combine two of our most popular sauces right. together. And, you know, Dylan, I wish you had gotten the, the bigger crab. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think I've seen crab cakes uh, this crabby. Right. Uh, unless you're at a high dollar, you know. Well, you are at a high dollar restaurant. You're at yeah, Deep South today, exactly. baby. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So I can't wait to dig in, guys. This looks hey, really good. You're the guest of honor, my friend. All right. I'm going to go right in for it. Get a big, holy cow, that's a big Look at the big lumpy bite. Mmm. What are you getting? You, know, you get that, that tender sweetness off the crab, and then I get the, uh, that tang of that balsamic vinegar and the mustard mixed with the the relish you get that little yeah you know little texture with the relish there there's the there's the fire there's the heat it usually takes about three to five seconds and it just kicked in nice really rounded it out nicely um you know guys i'm i'm sad there's only six well we decided four were for dylan what are we gonna do <laughs> we better eat quick better throw a chicken bone in the water and get you some more crab <laughs> That's That's right. I gotta say. <laughs> No, it was really great, guys. Really appreciate it. Very creative use. Um, you really surprised us, and I uh, can't thank you enough for uh, for coming up with this recipe. Really appreciate it. It's our it. pleasure. So to wrap it up, guys, we use these two sauces, and they're available from DeepSouthSauceCompany.com. We cooked them on a tailgate right here on what? Tablegate. On the ta tablegate. Tablegate. <laughs> on our so little M Grill C4. We're proving that you can have the best food you ever ate and it's still be relatable, it's still be easy, and it's still be fun. So catch you next time, guys. we got a lot more recipes coming at you.